this this wrist pin right here is out of a late model automobile and it's 900 if you if you check it there with the dial indicator it's 990 and a half thousandths looking at the at the dial indicator and uh, if you check in here almost all of them see that one is just just uh, uh, not finding a special place it's about uh, well it's not a full thousand but this 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 is not a let's go for the micrometer if you're going to go down to the thousands that's that one's in the tenth so that one is actually nine hundred and ninety and a half thousandths on the end and if you come right down here it's well, it's 990 and a half thousandths. Hmm. If you can see that. Uh, it has a, a rust ring there and there, but and I just assumed that was war, but evidently it ain't. Uh, most of them you will get a, a, a really smaller reading. 990 and a half thousandths. 990... Well, one. Hmm. That surprised me that I found two with no wire. Oh, now this is going to have some wire here. Let's just check it on for verification. 990 thousandths and a, and a half. 990. And looking up yonder, it's like 49. 49, so that's a half. And then in the middle... Uh, hmm, 990 even, and it's like two up there. So these are not war very mad, even though visually they look like it. Hmm. Um, they're just coincidence. Most of the time, I think you will find them war in the middle, even though even though a wrist and then now now this this wrist pin was actually in the engine as a floating as a floating. It, it was not locked in there. It was just a floating wrist pin, and and, and this is perfectly okay, if uh, even Babbitt would work here. Just have a Babbitt button that would fit right here, and a Babbitt button on the other side, so that when that floats, it would not. This would not hit the cylinder wall. Even Teflon, a Teflon button on each end right there would just be. It'd be marvelous, a little Teflon button with one of these late model wrist pins. This is very good. It's uh, it's an alternative, but as you can see, the, the, weight, the weight would be quite a bit different because it's really thin and these others are this one's thick and that one's thick. But, and you can observe this one, like these engines will talk to you, as I have mentioned in the past. This engine has been put together without this uh without this bolt in there they just put it together left that out and this wrist pin floated in there because you can see and it wore the cylinder out you can see where it wore that that wrist pin rounding or that it's the same shape if uh it's a little tighter so i'm not going to drive it in there uh, this one's a little bit better, but but the shape, if you look at it, it's the same same angle as the piston is. It's just one of them things, you know. Uh, just a little observance from here on the east coast of Arkansas. Oh, let's. Uh, a comment was about uh, the how long about them crankshafts, you know, uh, and that is a long crankshaft. It's uh, 23 and a half inches long. That's 23 and a half inches long, one and a half inch roundness, and the stroke. Leave a comment down there. Uh, we'll get to that stroke a little bit later. But I did, if I, let, let's add something to here. The pistons, I was, I was checking some pistons to see how much were and putting a note on them as to how much out of round pistons was in these engines. And actually, 
I, I checked about six of them and uh, I only found one that had uh, I only found one that actually had any wire to of consequences from uh, so so I'm not positive that we're measuring the skirt and then up here at the top uh, most of them were found to be really really close you know the same amount of drag across through there um, uh, just you know point something 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 on the on the measurement from the roundness this way and the roundness on the top uh, some pistons are machined out of round but uh, I checked several of these and I could not find that much out of roundness it's just some of the information out there that that uh, you know I'm, I'm not privy to it just some of it that uh, I don't know where to find that information at that's one of the things that just kind of uh, you know going by past experience some the the question is 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 how much how, how much how much wire here is too much well if you've got an engine there in your workshop and you're working on it and you only have that one engine you, you, you these are not available to go to the store to buy unless you do some leg work and end up with a brand spanking new late model one um, and you want to use your old wrist pin just remember the engine is only going to start up and run for observation if, if, if you're not going to if, if you're going to use it to power something it's a whole different like a different line of thinking if the engine is actually going to be put into use then some of this stuff would you would not use on a rebuild but to just have a good running engine then you actually can err uh, on two thousandths or four thousandths even up to five thousandths wire that normally you would not uh, maybe a little bit more in some cases but uh, w what I'm saying is there is a point to where that the wire is too much and it can't be shimmed up or uh, addressed in some other way that 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 part would need to be built up and even this crankshaft right here what when, when I was when I was cleaning this crankshaft up with the emery cloth I, I was real hesitant where the where the flywheel goes oh I only took off just enough to to color the metal uh, you know just oh it was just uh, the least I could take off and save all the metal that I had now where the bearing was at here I um, I actually took off a little bit more there in order to make this part round and this was this is the part that will be out of aroundment unless you had a loose flywheel then it would wear this out around so uh, mo all of your all of your your surface work let's say will be where the bearing goes or where the wrist pin goes and and you actually can go a little bit lower here a little bit smaller and take another shim out so to answer the question how much wire is too much it's uh it's it's kind of on an individual base with these old engines now with these old engines and what you're going to do with them keeping all that in mind it's just wh whatever you decide to do that should be done with professionalism not saying well it's war and I don't want to take more metal off, so I'm not going to fix it. You put it, you know, it's there. You, there's. That's all I'm going to say about that.